This is just a short video on uh, public records and invasion of privacy. All I'm doing on this, I actually browsed around a little bit, found a couple things that I missed the other day when I was half asleep. And, uh, well, here we go. Public records, guess what? Looking at public records is legal. It's highly abused. It's not used for the reasons that it was supposed to be, but it is legal. Now, however, there's a lot of controversy over this because public records were not built for the information age. They weren't built for such easy access to them. And I think it's pretty likely in the future, as has already started in several states in the United States, each different state has uh, its own set of policies regarding public records with fees and administrative approval and exclusions on uh, what you can and can't access. Now this varies state by state at the moment, but as things get worse and worse with people digging up information over the internet and companies basically mining all your personal information, even though it's public, still personal, and being able to use it against you. Let's see, I'm just gonna read straight out of the Wikipedia article here. With the advent of the Internet and Information Age, access to public records in the U.S. to anyone who wishes to view them has dramatically increased. Third parties, such as information broker industries, make regular use of public records to compile profiles on millions of people that are easily accessible to anyone at the click of a mouse, and sometimes make profit from the service of recompiling and mining this data. Many private matters, such as full accounts of divorce cases, insurance lawsuits, voter registration from state to state, and almost any other transactions people make with the government or through a courthouse is put into public records and made available for all eyes of society. Employers regularly do background checks either on their own or through information agencies, and often come across embarrassing information about a job applicant that is prejudicial and disadvantageous. The institution of public records was created to make the government accountable for its actions and to make operation of the government transparent. That says verification needed. It needs to be looked at. I want to cite that. However, the advent of the information age and electronic database has promoted efficient, large-scale shuffling of mass compilation of personal information that some believe has created a dossier society. A society where everyone is subject to per perpetual electronic profiles that document and amass everything known about an individual's private life. This has the effect and prognosis of inviting, <laughs> inviting, invading the privacy of millions, preventing any social forgiveness for embarrassing matters that go through courts, Cri civil and criminal, no matter how much time goes by, creating a growing disenfranchised group of society. Now, basically, my own take on this public records were created way back before any of this could be done. They were created for access to the information and they were created to use for specific goals. However, as things have gone by, the information itself and how it is stored has not changed but the entire situation behind it has. So it gets used and abused. Now, this is not illegal at the moment, but I believe it will be illegal in the future. And like I said, many states are already cracking down on it. Because even though these are public documents, it goes into a lot of personal and private information that is basically no interest and should not be available to people in general much less employers that can use it to discriminate against you when it shouldn't have any application on your job uh, application or whatever. So, I mean, right now there's a lot of controversy over public records because of the evolving society and the non-evolving of the public records themselves. Now, that's down pat. So there's a lot of... Uh, I guess the dilemma over this right now, privacy rights. It even has a link at the bottom of the website. It's www.privacyrights.org. 
La da la da 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 da. It's at the bottom of the Wikipedia article on uh, public records, and it just basically cites negative consequences of public records and other stuff on it, including let's see, less participation in public life, justice only for the rich. Obviously, some of this might be somewhat biased. Identity theft. That's definitely a concern. Destruction of reputation. Definitely a concern. Personal safety risk. Definitely a concern. Secondary uses of information. Basically, uh, this is just saying, you know, it strayed far from the original intent of these public documents, which is definitely a concern. And then the Dossier Society. Then there's also loss of social forgiveness, which that's pretty much inherent anyways. And then a growing number of disenfranchised individuals, which would probably be true considering more and more people get affected by this. Now that's covered that as public records. Legal to look up, a lot of controversy, a lot of, uh, I guess being used and abused for reasons that they were not originally created for. The things that we have around nowadays were not even around when they started this system. So there's a lot of controversy over that right now, though it's not technically illegal. You can stand on what side of moral or ethical debates you want to, but they definitely verge into the private life of people. So, I mean, make whatever opinion you want on that. That's how it stands right now. Personally, I see it as a growing risk. And, I mean, you know, it's not something I really thought about a lot before. Huh. Ignorance is bliss. But it's definitely something to worry about because anyone can basically get anyone's private information and use it for their own purposes. Uh, especially information they shouldn't have access to or shouldn't suit their purposes, like getting you for a job. Things, uh, examples of this, someone was fired because of their MySpace page. It's not something that uh, an employer should use <laughs> when trying to get you for a job. But then again, you put it up there. So, controversy on that. Now, I'm going to stop this before I go into the invasion of privacy.